me your ears. Many people ask the reason as to why some of us during the hardest times of Raila Molo Odinga we have stuck with him. And many people ask what it is that we see tomorrow. I want to give you just a few classic examples. When this country was being liberated for democratic space, tell those that say that Raila Molo Odinga, his age does not allow him, tell them and remind them that he spent his youth in detention so that you can be able to utter such words without any fear or intimidation. Tell them and remind them. And a time will come when it is important because I see others uttering words that gone are the days for those who want to liberate this country. Remind them the atrocities that were being done. He stood up right now and was telling us that he had to go into detention in, in uh, exile in Norway. This was a person who had been offered a lot. A lot was offered to him. But because of the interests of this country, he kept everything aside and decided that his sacrifice, personal sacrifice, sacrifice of his family, to the extent that when his late mother was being buried, he was not even aware. He was in the precincts of Shimulatewa. This is the story that we need to remind people. And despite the fact that Raila Molo Dinga ensured that we have multi-party democracy in this country, he did not stop there. He said, this country needs true constitutional overhaul. And look at the ones who are benefiting. The ones that are making mockery right now as we are speaking. Katika wale ambao wameweza kufaidi na jasho ya Raila Amolo Odinga. Machozi ya Raila Amolo Odinga. Afya ya Raila Amolo Odinga. Damu ya Raila Amolo Odinga ndio wale wale ambao kwa sasa hivi are the ones enjoying those benefits. If it was not for Raila Amolo Odinga, the deputy president would not be deputy president today. He would not be going around this country using state resources and misleading Kenyans. He ensured that those positions are constitutionally protected. Raila Amolo Odinga did not even stop there. For those making a mockery, the UBBI, Lismamishwa, Regan Lismamishwa, Namahkama, if it was not for Raila Molo Odinga, this same judiciary would not have the independence that it has today. <laughs> Don't ever, ever, ever forget where this country was. Never, ever let anyone, Waswahili Tunasema, Usiache mbachao kwa msala upitao. Let us not forget the things that Raila Molodinga was able to start. Free primary education. We're all seeing it. Some of the ones that today have the courage to be able to say that we can be able to say whatever it is that we want to say are beneficiaries of the fact that in the government when Raila Molo Odinga said Kibaki Tosha they decided that free primary education some of those today are old enough to be able to vote if your conscience treats you right vote for Raila Molo Odinga <laughs> the issues of youth empowerment youth enterprise fund, women fund started during the tenure of Raila Molo Odinga. 
Then now others are coming up with this narrative and there's nothing worse than when you extort poverty poverty that you have created those who are coming up with a narrative that ours is an approach of trying to assist those hustlers by today you should be ashamed because over the years a whole decade when you were in power when you were in government and when you were able to make those changes and when it deems right for you you become right now that you're head of opposition and when it deems right for you you say that you are the one who came up with those particular solutions our job is nothing else we hold and we are being held responsible by every single sensible Kenyan to remind them the reason why it should be Raila Molo Odinga is because this is a gentleman and I use the word gentleman because a gentleman is defined better than a hustler when I tell you Raila Molo Odinga is a gentleman he put everything else aside for others the noble ideas and now Baba it will be an honor it will be something that is going to be so deeming for this country that all the ideals every single thing that you are able to envisage for this country and you are able to put it all in a document called the current constitution despite the fact that they refused for us to make it better they failed to implement it i have faith and so do the many others out there who have faith the raila molo Odinga will be the one to be able to come up with the true liberation that this country needs 